What's up, Card Family? Jetman80 back here with another video. So it just came out that the Red Sox have fired Joey Cora over this whole thing with the Astros back in 2017. Of course, yesterday the Astros fired AJ Hitch and whatever the heck their general manager's name was over it after they got a year suspension. And the Astros got a $5 million fine and lost first and second round picks in 21. 2021 and 2022. I honestly don't think that fine was big enough because it doesn't affect the team that played. The ones that's going to affect, especially the losing the four draft picks, is Astros teams in five, six years when those draft picks reach the majors. And most of those players that will be on that Astros team Weren't there in 2017. You got to make it affect the team. Like I said, the Astros, not the Astros, the Red Sox, it just came out, they fired Cora. Cora was the ringleader. Then, of course, there's Beltran. But who knows what's going to happen with that because at the time he was a player. And I guess the players' union can do something about him being fined or anything. But I think the players' union should just say, screw it, do what you want with him. Sign stealing is one thing. It's been going on for years. You know, you try to, the managers, the players from the dugouts, the players from the field, they try to pick up on signs from the catcher. That's one thing. That's accepted. But when you have a video camera directly on the catcher and it relays it to a room... And they use a, si a signal like banging on a garbage can. Yeah, screw you. That's just as bad as guys using steroids. Yes, I'm one of the guys who don't think any of the steroid users should ever get into the Hall of Fame. Bonds. Aroid. I mean, yes, Rodriguez is a Yankee and I am a Yankees fan. But guys who get caught cheating or teams that get caught cheating like the Astros did. No, that, that Astros team, they screwed. The Yankees got screwed because they lost to them in the uh, ALCS. And then the Dodgers in the World Series who lost to them got screwed. A team that was cheating, taking, si taking signals. I mean, if a batter knows you know what's coming, say it's a fastball, a fastball coming, swing a little early. Off speed, lay off just a little bit. I I freaking hate cheaters. Even I, the Yankees have had cheaters. Guys who are Im implicated in the Mitchell report, screw them. I mean, you need to trust the game. A lot of us are fans of different sport of all four of the major sports. Like I don't watch basketball a lot, but I'm a Nets fan. If any of my teams get caught with that crap, punish them. I'm a fan. I pay money, be it on merchandise or anything. And I don't want to feel tainted when I buy it. Like, I felt tainted after everything came out about Rodriguez. Uh, cheating again, and the Yankees won that 2009 World Series. I think I have one thing of the 2009 World Series left, Maybe. Oh, wow, that stuff I just got rid of because I don't, I don't know, it makes me icky. <laughs> but, yeah, there's no defending a team that cheats, be it yours or any other team, especially if it's your team. You can't defend your team for cheating. You, you, can't, you can't call yourself a sports fan and be okay, turn a blind eye to cheating. And, like, you know, try to make up some bullshit excuse. For, for it, like the Patriot fans do. Patriot fans make a living out of covering up for their teams, making excuses for their teams cheating, and then Patriots have been caught many times. And as far as the Houston asterisk, uh, yeah, there's a big asterisk now on that 2017 World Series, a giant one, because it was an illegitimate freaking win. Peace off.